Don't be afraid. Here, you can touch my hand. It's okay. I have always been really afraid of spiders. I realized I'm the big scary thing and she didn't want to touch me either. Where are you going? I was really just more focused on showing her that I wasn't that scary. I could be trusted. I just wanted her to get on with it. Oh, so close. You can do it. We were both very nervous and worked on that slowly together. Wanna try again? So after quite a while, I learned I need to let her come to me. You did it. I wasn't freaking out because I was just so happy that she finally went for it. Not too bad, huh? It wasn't scary at all, it was adorable. After quite a while, she genuinely seemed to enjoy just sitting and hanging out with me. I would hold her up in the sun and she would bask. <laughs> you were so cute. It was kind of nice to have that companionship. Hi, honey. As spiders get older, they slow down quite a bit. Hey, how are you doing? I had noticed her struggling to climb She just needed a little bit of help. I put a little piece of fabric in her enclosure for her to climb up to. How do you like it? She seemed much happier. Just tried to give her a happy senior life. The typical average lifespan of a jumping spider is really only a year or so, just enough time to get really attached to them. Then that seems like an excellent pet. It was a really sad day when she passed. She was a bright little light in that time. After Gretel's passing, I was looking through my messages. As I was reading all these things, I realized Gretel had started something pretty wonderful. I wanted to keep that going in her honor. Hi. Now is have a whole little family. If we can learn more about the things that we fear, it really takes away a lot of that mystery. I will never see spiders the same way. I fear the future. Where do I learn more? Local fortune teller, maybe.